good morning. Welcome back. This is the Dewan Moore Show. I'm your host, Dewan Moore. This stuff is crazy with all the guns, the shooting. You can't go outside or you, you, you might get shot. It's just that simple. And with that being said, let's jump into this news story. This news story is from the Washington Post. It's by Morwar Itugul. Sorry, bro. Round two of Florida tomorrow. Schools, police on high alert after deadly school rampage. The day after a gunman fatally shot 17 people at a South Florida high school, many American teenagers went to school, as always, returning to routines that usually felt safe. But on campuses across the country, a palpable unease descended on faculty, staff, and students who struggled with the news out of Parkland, Florida, where police say a gunman walked into Major Stoneman Douglas High School with an AR-15 and opened fire. According to the, adding to the anxiety, the spread of copycat threats on Snapchat and other social networks were ominous messages profiled. Though most appeared to be hoaxes, administrators, police and school resources, officers were on high alert looking out rarely for students motivated to threaten or engage in similar behavior. In Arkansas, a Fayette High School student allegedly threatened to shoot up the high school like they did in Florida and was arrested. The police determined that the student did not intend to carry out the threat, but the act of making a threat against schools is against the law, office officials said in a statement early Friday. In Spainsburg, South Carolina, a ninth grader student at Borma, Bor, Broomy High School was arrested after he allegedly posted a photo of himself on Snapchat wearing a partial mask and holding what appeared to be an assault rifle. The photo was captioned, Round 2 of Florida Tomorrow. Spartanburg Sheriff's officials told Authorities told the station that a parent of another child had reported the threat and helped deputies identify the student in the photo. When confronted by deputies, the student in the Snapchat photo said he posted it in just the shittiest joke of all time, bro. Shittiest joke ever. After informing the suspect and his parents of the law violation, the state this, the suspect stated his Snapchat post was just intended as a joke and that he didn't have any serious intentions, Stattenberg County Sheriff's Lieutenant Kevin Bobo told the news station. Intent, joke or not, prosecute that kid to the fullest extent of the law because you don't make jokes like that. That's, like I said, the shittiest joke of all time. Spartanburg County School District's three of office officials weren't taking any chances, saying in a statement they would be providing additional security at the school. The safety of our students and staff is paramount importance, the district statement said. The Snapchat post spread well beyond South Carolina, the Boer Sheriff Office in Florida County where the deadly Parkland shooting took place said late Thursday that variations of the post had continued to be circulated over social media where captions added to warn people not to go to various schools throughout South Florida. The Boer Sheriff Office added on Facebook, remember any posts that appear to be threatening in nature or are of concern to a user should be brought to the attention of law enforcement who will monitor and investigate the validity and attempt to identify the source. Should any violations of law or threats to public safety be found, the poster will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. As Broadway officials were publishing their Facebook post, Florida's Gilchrist County School District announced that it was canceling classes Friday due to an email threat. In light of recent instance, incidents in Bulwark County and out of abundance of caution, We'll, we'll, we will be closing school tomorrow, February 16th, in order to ensure the safety of our students and staff, the district said. Two hours later, another district in New Jersey announced schools would be closed Friday due to a security threat. As both the superintendent of Newelty Public School and a parent 
and because of nature of the world in which we live, there was no other decision to be made, Newtley Public School Superintendent Julie Gazer said on Facebook. Can't even go to school, you can't go to school, you can't go to a ball game, you can't go to a concert, you can't do anything. You can't even sit in your house because you might catch a stray. You might get shot in America. The odds are against you. After the threat and arrest of the failure arc, where a student had allegedly posted about plans to shoot up the high school like they did in Florida, for a yet public school superintendent, Matthew Winded, said Friday morning, we're looking forward to a regular day of school. I'm sure you guys are. I want you guys to have a regular day of school. This is insane. In the aftermath of past shootings, including the one in 2012 at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newton, Connecticut, school nationwide felt an altercation for an average of 10 to 14 days, said Mary Ellen O'Tooley, a former FBI profiler. She said the increase of threats and false alarms in the days after a national tragedy is a noticeable phenomenon. There are certain things that occur in our culture that can provoke the desire to engage in similar behavior, she said. We know the crimes of mass shootings, especially like this one, can provoke someone who's already considering it. Administrators and police can't look at the threatening posts, such as the one from the Broome High School student, the day after a mass shooting and say, ah, there's no way he's going to do that, O'Tooley said. She said the rise of social media use amongst teenagers also contributes to the number of copycat threats in part because the person posting the threat, threatening message isn't able to witness the emotions of those who see it. When you do it behind a computer screen, you don't see that at the other end you, you put somebody in tears, O'Toole said. So to all you dot-com warriors, if you wouldn't say it to their face, don't type it on the keys. It's also likely that children don't realize the seriousness and finality of school shootings, she said. That could be the cause, that could be the case where a sixth grader of Nova Middle School in Broward County, Florida, also home to Majority Stoneman Douglas High School, who was arrested Thursday for writing a note threatening to shoot up her school. I will bring a gun to school to kill all you ugly blank kids and teachers, the 11-year-old allegedly wrote. I will bring the gun February 16th. Be prepared. The student allegedly slipped a note under assistant principal's door. NBC Miami reported she later gave a written confession to the administrators. Another Broward County school, North County Preparatory School, was put on lockdown after a teacher sent a text message that said she thought she heard shots According to WSVN, police went to classroom to classroom conducting a search and then, then lifted the lockdown and reported a false alarm. While responding to the incident, our Broward Sheriff Office deputy accidentally shot himself in the leg. In Brooklyn, two 16-year-old boys threatening to shoot up their school in less than two hours after news broke of the South Florida shooting. The New York Daily News reported around about 4 p.m., Wednesday, the two posted two photos online, one showing a boy holding a rifle with the caption, we're gunning, gunning down TMRW, while the other showed a boy in a black ski mask with the captions that read, don't come to school tomorrow. In the second photo, two fire emojis replaced the boy's eyes. One boy was arrested at his home Thursday, and the other turned himself in, according to the Daily News. In Hamilton, Ohio, my home state, police arrested a student at Ross High School who sent a post on social media referring to the recent school shooting in Florida. Ross Township Police said in a statement he faces a felony charge of inducing panic and will be held on Butler County, Butler County, County Juvenile Detention Center, police said. If you don't think there's enough guns in the good old U.S. of A, here's a few more stories, or brief stories to round it out. Other incidences involving guns in schools thurs Thursday. Just effing Thursday. Thursday. 
let that marinate on your on your gray matter for just a moment. Just Thursday. The arrest of a 13-year-old at Nicholas Junior High School in Arlington, Texas, who was allegedly threatening to shoot up the school with an AK-47 assault rifle, according to Fox 4 News. The arrest of two students in Palm Beach Lake High School in West Palm Beach, Florida, who allegedly brought guns to school. The arrest of a male student at Clarksburg High School in Clarksburg, who allegedly brought a loaded hand school handgun to school, the alleged arrest of a 16-year-old student in Marcus High School in Flower Mound, Texas, who allegedly brought a weapon to school, the arrest of a student in South Garland High School in Garland, Texas, who alleged, Texas, they got a lot of things there, a lot of guns, big, big state, a lot of guns, who allegedly brought a weapon to school. The arrest of a student at South Garland High School in Garland, Texas, who allegedly brought a gun to school. That was not loaded, though. The arrest of a Pan Pan Plano West High School student in Plano, Texas, who allegedly brought a handgun to school, was not loaded. Again. The arrest of a student at Lee Summit North High School in Lee Summit, who allegedly brought a gun to school, that was not loaded. Too many guns. I'm going to tell you a solution to all these guns in my next segment in the next story that I upload right after this one is done. If you haven't already and you want to make sure you catch that new story as well, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'll be back with another news story, man. This shit's crazy. Be safe out there. Be aware of your surroundings. Peace.